if you've always wanted to find your head voice because you think you don't have it, but you would like to see if you can find it. Stay tuned for this video. Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. Head voice is really important. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't have it. Provided you have a healthy vocal tract, human beings have two main registers. There's the chest heavy register and there is the head register. We all have it. We all have those mechanisms. It's where the larynx tilts and that's that really extends your range toward the top because you stretch your vocal cords and then you can create higher frequencies. Now, if it's hard for you to create head voice, I'm going to prove to you today that you have it. The main thing is that you wanna not push too much, you wanna stay light. The most important principle is to not push too much air outward and to try to relax here on the level of your vocal cords. What happens a lot of time is you sing chest voice, la 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 la, la and then it gets very tense. Does this happen to you to where it's like, ah, ah. you find somewhat of a head voice, but it gets very tense. This is because you are pushing too much. You are using too much air. So your support and your posture and the airstream are extremely important. What you wanna do, get into a good posture and then slightly from the top, try to start a sigh from the very top. Don't try to open too much. It's just a ah, and slide down quickly. That very first moment, that should really be head voice. Ah, if it sounds somewhat like ah, too much air, too tense. So try to be light. And a lot of times it helps when you do short, quick iterations. You can exhale at the end of this. Oh, but right before that, it's almost like you want to hold for just a second without closing up your throat. You inhale. You hold it for just a second. Leave the pipes open. Oh, and now there's a little exhale, but don't push too much. It's really the lightness that is very important. A lot of times when you start doing a siren, which is usually, you know, it's often used to help people utilize head voice or to find head voice, like what the feeling is, woo! It gets very tense. And a lot of times it doesn't work because this is what happens. Woo! Your voice just doesn't work anymore suddenly. And that's why the light approach is really important. Start with that light high sigh. That is actually in head voice. You can then slow it down to where it's not ah, but it's more like ah. Slow it down just a bit more. If that's too hard, then do the fast iterations. What is important is that you pay attention to how that feels different from la 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 la, which is chest voice. You don't have to be extremely high to use head voice. You might even want to start a little bit lower if that is still too tense for you. Oh. 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 And sometimes it helps if you try to impersonate an opera singer. Hello! How are you today? Um, which is also head voice, but it's a lot more pressure. Really depends on your voice type that you naturally are, and really depends on your natural tendencies. So for some people it's too much tension, for some people it's not enough tension. Depending on what singer you are, try those different approaches with either lightness or the opera singer approach to where you go, try to be massive. And it all depends on you. I have something really exciting to announce. I have a free live training this coming Friday and I'm going to help you find your voice type after you register, you have the opportunity to send a, like a short clip. I cannot probably look at everyone's clips, but I'm gonna use those as an example to show everyone, like I'm gonna examine your voice and recommend or you know say like, this is what I think what your voice type is and this is why, and this is probably what you should be singing. So make sure you sign up for that. It's only gonna happen this Friday. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.
always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. You can sing any song you want to sing, but here's the thing, you don't want to copy another singer. You want to stay true to the style of the music and that really uh, depends on how the instrumentation goes. If you accompany yourself with a piano or with a guitar or have others accompany you live, you can change the piece to where it suits the energy of your voice. But I can sing an Amy Winehouse song, although my voice is absolutely nothing like Amy Winehouse's voice, but I just sing it in my own style. We only said goodbye with words I died a hundred times You go back to her And I go back to I go back to us See how I can sing it in my authentic voice? I'm respecting the music, I'm respecting the style But I'm also respecting my own voice